to Gahade, the town of love and peace. They are from Afar. We are here. So, with my elders, would like to know they are missing. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> um, now we find ourselves at Jazzy. Uh, now the chief and uh, his elders are welcoming you to his palace. And as custom demands, they want to know your mission. That's perfect. I can, I can get a representation. Brother Kofi, yes. you, want to, yeah. you, want to, you want to come up and share our mission? The reason why you are here does mean not a mission of your company or whatsoever, but the reason why we are here does mean. Uh, we're here uh, at greetings. Thank you, Manasseh. Uh, here as family, Abuasi, and uh, reconnecting, reuniting uh, Africans from the diaspora to our home and doing that incrementally and gradually. That's all. Yeah. So, why are you here? Love, fear of me, Oklahoma. Here, uh, just thinking about the future for our children. For our people, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. um, and we want to be able to take control of destiny. We believe that the answer, as we all come to learn in our conscious community or wherever we want to call this, the ultimate answer is nationhood. That's right. Nation building. That's right, brother. Straight up. But we we had to learn that you know you had to start incrementally and do it with community building. <coughs> so we know sovereignty is key. And we want to be able to reconnect, obviously, with our, our continental sisters and brothers and do it the correct way and also blend in everything that we've done. Perfect. Uh, anything you want to add to Zebo? Yeah. Or anyone else? Yeah, uh, let me say something. This was an individual question. You that each person should speak why they are here. It's not an individual question. It is an individual question, right? Well, it is I'm here personally because the West is corrupt. The West is now being destroyed by all different kind of, kind of poison, medicine, war. You see, you can name them. So, you know, our ancestors call the few that are wise to come forward to the motherland. Because sooner or later, the, we who are here will, will not be able to go even to America. Who is in America will stay in America. Who is in Africa will stay in Africa because of the new world crisis. So I'm here to connect with my ancestors, Your Majesty, and I want to have land here as well to build, to gather my family from Jamaica forward to the motherland. So I would like to get land here so I can live and set up business, institution, clinics, hospital, these things, restaurants. So this is my mission here. Um, my name is Ait Sapir from Kingston, Jamaica. I'm a songwriter, a musician, a cook. I have many different skills. So I'm honored to meet you, sir. And I hope we could speak privately after this. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. And you're all welcome. Um, as uh, our brother said, to be able to reconnect. So that means in between there was disconnection. Exactly. Now, exactly. that is why we have the elders here, the chief is here, to receive you. Without receiving you, there is no connection. The disconnection has to be connected by someone. That is why he is here uh, receiving you. Uh, we thank God so much that the, uh, the land is available. Uh, just see Bravo money, and then everything will be settled. Uh, some of you have really... Uh, registered for the land and uh, traditionally you cannot come and just drive and then go to the land. Uh, he's the overlord of the area and we need to come and then see him for him to know that we have arrived. Then he can give us his blessings even when we are leaving. So that is the uh, reason why we are here. And, uh,
uh, as usual, uh, some time ago we were here. And then uh, when I entered, I said, that corner there, I will always remember. Right. Um, that is where we started exactly. signing our signatures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we are here to see the land. Uh, the land, uh, our brothers and sisters over here, they want to reconnect, come and settle. And uh, as you are aware, uh, we've been working on this for some time now. And we thank God that they have also come to see and to experience. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm very grateful for your coming. Uh, I think we've been connecting for uh, how many years now? Two years now. About, two years. About the, two years now. The second anniversary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Since our, you know, our, uh, our marriage. Speed up or facilitate your coming by getting you a place to stay. That's the first thing. I know you cannot just build and stay without working. Even if you have billions, it will get finished. So, which means that my brothers coming to Africa and connect with us must be also working. Yeah. And they cannot work in space. So, I have made available a big beggar land so that. If you are ready to have any project which will keep you going in life, it will be available for you. Somebody is saying he's a musician and others. He can even open his studio and get youth to involve in studying what he has learned so that what he has learned will not extinguish to continue to be within the society. Uh, likewise, any other, any, any of you who also wish to have different ideas of getting, putting up a project like uh, Omo factory, cement factory, whatever it is, you'll just let me know. I will help you so that you can put up such a project. You cannot put project in a space. Definitely you need the land. So being a custodian of the land, I will ensure that you have a place to put up said project, which will bring employment. It will also help you have a boost of economy, development of yourself and the society. <clears throat> and it will help entire country. Because you may feed all the country with your products. And now technology has come, said that now we are improving on everything that we were used to be taking. Like, you get cassava, the only thing they know is pounding to food with cassava. Now cassava, because of technology, has so much products that people produce. Gary is there. Kokonte is there, which is very uh, uh, traditional ones, but there are few ones which are modern, modernized, can be packaged, we are the hot shops, and can even do such projects said that you can export them to earn so much and employ so much hands. So I'll be ready for all those things. And uh, one of you sent me a, a, a message <clears throat> which I want to put across that is Bumani doing the right thing? Bumani, what you have been telling us, is it true, authentic? Yes, sir. Then I said yes. Then he went on to tell me that he asked a question that I didn't bother him. He was, he was asking that, uh, uh, so how many acres have I located for them? And I felt that that answer is known to him because Bumani will not hide it. So why should he ask me? So I did not answer him. I must tell you all that 
I'm not a trickist or a scam chief. I'm a chief gazetted. I own land backed by ancestral Akabia documents. So nobody should deceive you of you coming here. Blackmailing. And Bumani is not a small boy that I can deceive him. And that if Bumani is before you and telling you something, don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Just two years, some of you have come to stay. In Ghana, somebody may acquire land. It will take you about so many years before you can build. Right, serious. The serious. reason being that he has to go through a lot of documentations, a lot of obstacles from the planning office, from a lot of people. By the time you like to build, all your money has been taken by those people. Right. But would you, uh, for me, you can build right away. made it so simple. When you were about to, some of them about to build, I, I have not been seen around. I was there, they called me that uh, town planning people have come, they want family here and there. That's a let me talk to them. Then I told them, my community, the locals, they build with that permit. You have a responsibility. You haven't done it. If you want to give permit, you must come and then do all the layout showing places that cannot be built. Places that have been reserved for certain social amenities. If you haven't done so, and I'm controlling all these things, then you don't have the right to take a permit. I know it is the law, the, the Ghana has a law that if you want to build, you must have your burden plan, it must be uh, taken to plan, uh, town planning, you must be given permission, which is permit, to go and build. I know the law is there, but my people are coming to join the, uh, the, 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 the ancestors here. So if you are bringing in those things, it will obstacle their coming. It will be difficult, it will, it will create problems for them. Let them build. What they are building is good. And Bomani tested the land. So they are not putting up their building at the wrong places. And they have done their own layout. So I allowed them. And they went, they didn't come again. That is why some of you are able to build. So I'm telling you that it's not a scam at all. I know your end there, a lot of scams are there. And when you are within such scams, you always think of somebody is scamming me. So Africa, they can scam me. And Africans have made themselves so mad that they, they, they have shown their poverty so mad that when they go outside, they see them as people who don't have money and that whatever they are saying is not true. Vegas. And they just want to take our money. Oh. It is what our even the president have been doing, African president have been doing. It is what uh, other uh, individuals have been doing. Somebody, his own brother will be in the US and he will send money to his brother in Africa, put up a house for me. Then he will go and take a picture of somebody's house and send it. The time he will come, no house. This has been happening. I know you know them. Yes. So you are afraid. That fear is in you. So sometimes when they put some certain questions to me, I see the mind of the person is afraid. That, hey, is this chief not going to scam us? I want to assure you that I will not allow anyone to scam you. And for that matter, God, my integrity is at stake because of the work I do. 
I'm a judiciary. So I'm very careful about my integrity. So what about Abakan? Abakan is a Ghanaian. So if I was come, Bomani and all of you, that Abakan should know, and he's also a military man. He can just bring soldiers and come and carry me. So how can I, why should I do that? Why should I do that? And I'm a chief. Until I die, I'm continuing to be chief, gazetted. And I pray I'm not going to die now. So why should I take some money to forfeit such a dignity as a chief and as a police service officer? I can't do that. Documentation in Ghana is quite different from probably your end because of corruption. You send document to the Lands Commission, you will never get it because you haven't paid somebody. Meanwhile, it's not, a, it's not an official payment and you'll be riding in cars. But here, if your document is indeed not ready, you build your house and stay in. Whatever issue that you are confronted with, let me know. My prayer is that put up your house early. What will be one of the qualifications for you to have your permanent citizenship in Ghana? Those who are built, if you go there, they will, they will look at whether you have a property in Ghana. And your house is a property. And it is your property forever. And that's one of the criteria. That will facilitate your getting your permanent citizenship in Ghana. So that you can even stand as an MP. <laughs> or contest as an MP. Yes, if you are a citizen, that is it. You enjoy every facility in the country. Everything, you enjoy it. You qualify to be at the parliament and debate. Everything except for president. Yes, you, you, you qualify to be even a president. Because you are a citizen. <laughs> yes, and you are uh, 40 years above. So you can stand as a president. So which means that citizenship <laughs> is very, very important. And... Uh, I'm very glad that you met a very nice man, Mr. Bakan. He has time for human being. He can abandon his work and move on to help put up your demands. Sometimes he comes here, myself, he serves me, and he leaves his work and serves me. So for your citizenship, Mr. Bakan knows the rudiment of it very well. I think yesterday I will tell one of you, in the afternoon, that uh, I will tell Mr. Baka to help whoever wants to have citizenship to get it because he knows the law, how to go about it to get it. But as you have come here, here is your home. You are from Jahade. Now, I'm saying you have children, you have grandchildren who will be coming. So that's what I already said you need to put apart from your house, put up other things that will support them in life. Apart from where they will sleep. I was sleeping, you will definitely wake up. And when you wake up, where are you going? You have to work. Yes. So that you invest whatever you have profitably for the benefit of your kids and whoever, the grandchildren and your descendants will be coming. They will hurry to you and enjoy that facility. On behalf of my address, I warmly welcome you again. Since we went there to cast salt for your housing project, they have never been there. But I learned things are going on well there. Nobody should deceive you that it's a, it's a scam. I think I have mentioned it several times because uh, some of those things appeared on my 
was that page and I read I was so sad. I know those people were convinced by other people <laughs> in Ghana, telling them certain falsehoods which they also believe. But uh, thank your God that you came to Ghana and you met me. Yes, most of the chiefs, yes, some of them are scammers. It is true. Yeah. The chiefs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, they are scammers. It is a fact. The moment they see that you are from outside, they know you have brought money. So they will find all means to take your money. Which is, and when they, 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 they take the money to and you are demanding, they will not get it. You will not get it. So even if you go to the police and you have evidence, yes, you have evidence. Paper together, our name is on the paper. Yes, the land, the spot, everything. I have all the rights to get back my money. So I don't understand. You have the right. They put you in litigation. Um, let me tell you something. They will take your money. You may not even have the document. You go to the police. That is a criminal aspect. Defrauding by false pretense. So where is your money? You go to court, because I'm one of them, I will just imprison him. Where is your money? The system is that you have to take several actions in court. And you look at the person standing there. He will not get money to pay you. He hasn't got property to attach, to be sold, to, to, to pay that money. So what do you do? Which is lost. The person is so poor that he hasn't got any property. He hasn't got house. He hasn't got car. He hasn't got even television. So in court, if certain things happen, we fall on the person's property. And the person hasn't got, hasn't got property. The court cannot do anything. The only <laughs> thing that you have is the person being in prison. And if he's in prison, you haven't, you haven't got anything. Mm -hmm. So you still can't get back the money? You, no, you, the the so person hasn't got the money. Back yes, back. you will get. So when you get scammed, it's just like... Let, let, let me explain this. It doesn't thing. matter how much money. It could be a million, 20 yeah. million. You will get. There's no chance of getting back there. My brother, no. let me explain what Nana is saying in a short term. Yes. What he's saying is that if you fall into a good hands, mm -hmm. you are safe. If you fall into the bad hands, bad hands. that is the consequences. Yes, the person Thank will you. fall into the bad hands. <laughs> Please understand. That's, it. That's what I'm saying that you are lucky to fall in the hands of me. Yes. yes I'm, so I'm, I can be sure that I'm with the right You are the right, you are right place. You are the right place. <laughs> yeah, we have an organization right. set up. Right. You are the right place. Nobody will take anything from you without you benefiting. Now you go out, but you go there, you go there, you see them. So whatever Bomani has been telling you, it's factual. And we have all the documentation. Don't doubt it. I prepared four documents on the land given to Bomani. So that document covers everybody there. Right? Your individual ones is as to be taken from the bulky one I've done for Bomani. Right? So he gives you that document. It means you are keeping that that particular small place is for you. But for the whole entire place, it's covered with a document from me, signed. Right? So you have no problem at all. Now, the incident uh, of people stealing that one is a crime in the society. The incident of people coming to your side to be destroying your thing is a crime in the society. Right? Which happens everywhere. So the only thing to do is to protect your property. And our constitution, Ghana constitution, gives you all the powers to protect your property even to the extent of what? Killing. Right? 
Because this is my house. Someone is taking from me. I said, I won't give you. Or he's come to destroy my property. I said, no. And I kill. Though, now the killing, the dead, is quite unpleasant to society. So, no matter how it is, you may be charged for manslaughter. Not murder. But if you are charged for manslaughter, it's also the same as going to prison for doing so, right? So, you protect your property in a manner that, because I, 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 I'm speaking in law, so you may not understand what I'm saying. In a manner that nobody can take it from you. So that property there is for you. In the night, if I'm coming there, I'm going come there with your permission. I'm the chief. I have given it to you. It's like a mason who put up your house. He cannot enter your room without your permission. Is that not it? So I've been a chief giving you that place. If I'm to come there all time, I'm part of the uh, 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 criminals. How should I go there? Because the place is not for me again, it's for you. So if I'm coming there, I must seek your permission that I'm coming there. So that when you see me there, not that I'm coming there with any bad mind. That is the law. So once I've prepared the document and given it to you, I have no business with that land. I have no business at all. It's your property. So you have to protect it. Right? Yeah. That is all. And whoever comes to disrupt your property or your peace, you have every right to go to the police and arrest him. Because the chief has handed over the place to you after signing the document. And it is your property. So you have to walk bold chested that I have property. That is all. My hands are not under it again that, oh, I have land at that place. I don't have land again at that place. It's given to you once I have signed. You have performed your obligation. I have performed my obligation, so it's for you. So please, don't have any double mind, people deceiving you here and there. No. That woman who called me, there in one second, I said, please, Get security yourself at the place and protect the place. That is all. And I'm praying that from about 10 years to come, I will see all of you staying there and participate in our social activities. That is all. So you are warmly welcome. If somebody babbles with any then he can let me know and explain. Yes. I'm concerned about, <clears throat> my concern would be the children, and I would prefer to use my gifts and talents with and to help the children. So as far as educational background, what do we have to do? <clears throat> Maybe former teachers, former nurses, and that kind of thing. What would we have to do to work in a school? Do we show you? like documentation or degrees or what is it, how is that done? Like in your schools, we don't just walk into schools and say we want to teach. How is that done? Do you have schools already? Yeah. Uh, uh, I would like to say something. Mm -hmm. uh, Nona said he has handed the land, everything over to you. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have such business, it's a business that you run. You go to the right authorities who are going to give you the right documentations or let you know how you go about it. Okay, then you can establish your school. If you are a teacher and then uh, maybe you want to teach here, offer a service. Okay, there are schools here that you go to the education office. This is my documentation. This is the person I am. I want to help in this area. So please, how can I do this? And then they will just give you the direction. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I say it's private and public. Yes. Yes. Yes.
Like you want to establish with a company, you have registered general who take care of it. I think uh, I wish that whoever has any uh, mind of putting up any project here and there, when you see Mr. Bakan, because you have just come certain places you may not know, Abakan will help. Uh, if it becomes uh, possible, Abakan will consult me on certain ideas. I will be ever, ever ready to also help. Like education is talking about, you put up your infrastructure yourself, you get your children, then you write a letter to the education office. They have officers there, they will come and visit the place. Right? When they visit the place, then they will guide you how you go about it. It's your own school. They will not take whatever you are earning from there, but they will guide you. Uh, they will guide you because uh, they have educational policies. They have their uh, syllabuses, they have their textbooks. Right? I think uh, last time I read something. Uh, in Northern region, somebody put up a uh, Islamic school, supposedly Islamic school, not knowing he was training tourists. <laughs> so they went and ransacked all of them. Right? <laughs> that is why, if you want to put up a school, yes, have infrastructure, you need not to take permission before you do it. You put up the infrastructure, and as you are about to begin getting children there, you just write officially to the school. They'll come and visit and inspect your... I've been in the education office before. I was an assistant director in education before joining the judicial service. So uh, I know rudiment in education. It's not difficult at all. If you write to the office, they'll detail the private school coordinator. You come and inspect the place because the convenience of the children is concerned of the nation. And then the, uh, what goes into the, uh, the teaching? What books are you using? Yes. What, uh, yes, because you know, you can't use American textbooks. You can't use American mm -hmm. syllabus. So it means they will guide you. And if necessary, where you can get material, they guide you to get them. And then you go on. So it's not, uh, and it's not difficult at all. And the, and the studio I was talking about, yes. You put out studio, and then you know your people who have been yes, singing, the musicians. The West, yes, I think they have the Ghana Musician Association of those people. Yeah, musical. Yes, musical yes. and those people, yes. So you also join them. I will join them. And then, the and then they will be directing what to go in. I'm so so Ghana is a very peaceful place. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you don't know, then you go wayward. And if you don't know, why don't you ask? Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, ignorance of the law is no excuse in Ghana. Uh -huh. So you must ask. They will, they will show you. Uh -huh. And what pains me is when they see you as a foreign, uh, somebody from outside like that. Yes, these are the officers. They think they have to be squeezing you or getting certain things from you. Where the corruption starts? It starts from the grassroots to the up. Right. So, uh, being Abaka being, you know Abaka very well. Some of these things, Abaka can be leading you, know what to do and what you should not part money for it. Any more questions? Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I want to ask you a question. Please, do you have a land gas here? Land gas? We, land gas, we don't have. So why is it that sometimes some people claim that they are langas, they keep destroying people's property? They are not langas. They are miscreants in the society, right? Uh, because Ghana has a law abolishing langa, right? I you know human beings, most of the people are ignorant of the law. <laughs> so, activity that they will do, which, which uh, warrant that offense, they don't even know. Now, if somebody comes to your land and destroys, and you get that person, two of you must show ownership of the land. That's the first thing. 
if that person has no ownership of that particular land, it means it's a land guard. If you go to the land, somebody is putting up a house, then you ask him that give me money before I allow you to build. Using force is a land guard. That is the uh, Land Law Act 2020, Section 12. And that person, if it's put before court, that is where the corruption of the police will also come in. If they put before court, the minimum sentence is five years. Minimum. And the maximum is 25 years. Now, Ghana, we have two ways of arresting criminals. So if you think the police are not doing well, you can go and file a motion as party before a judge. And then you state the offense the person has committed. Then you tell the judge that this person has done this and this and this and this and this and that. And I'm before you that if the court do not intervene, it will cause havoc, right? So the judge will then give an order, summons. If it's emergency, you issue warrant of arrest. You issue to the prosecutor for the police to bring the person before him. He bring the person before him, you ask him that you are being, uh, they say you have committed these crimes. Is it true or not? If you admit that he did it, the court will then order the police to investigate and charge him officially before court. And you go to jail. That one, because the court has ordered for his arrest, the police cannot, cannot take bribe outside and leave him. But luckily for us in this era, we've got an RDP who is up and doing. Yes. One of the days, people commit crime, they are arrested, and then you, they leave them. This time, Dampare is doing very well in crime combating. Yes. Even the women who have been showing their, themselves in the social media. Yes. This is, it has gone down. Because uh, they caught one of them opening herself in the social media. And he was, he was sent to in someone prison. <clears throat> and he has suffered so much before he even came out to enjoy the Christmas. So now these things are being combated. Pastors who give False, prophecy. False prophecies that uh, uh, the president is going to die this year. This president is going to die this year. This is going to die this year. No prophecy of that nature. Dampari gave for <laughs> he, he, he gave them warning before time. If you prophesize and it's, it's, it's against life, you will be answerable. So I think we've got a good command, uh, uh, IGP who is doing very well. And the police, if you go to police station, your case is not being handled very well, and it goes up there, the police is in difficulty. So now crime rate, for me, it seems it's going down small in Ghana. You see, places where crimes are so high, is due to the law enforcement agencies. They have relaxed. Ghana relaxed force, uh, 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 crime uh, enforcement, uh, law enforcement for some time. So everybody will do whatever he wants. But now they are putting up checks for all those things. Yeah, you have your right to remove your uniform and open yourself. But you don't have your right cannot infringe on the right of the public. Right? Yes, in your room you can do whatever you want. But it shouldn't infringe on the public or somebody's rights. So these are the things in place. So, yes, yeah, langas are not there, but definitely some of these things will happen. They can break your walls, they can do that, 
but the law is there. Right? There are people who have taken about 200 something acres up here for estates. They sent their annual rolls about two or three tons there. Some people went and took it away. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't you can't say that uh, we don't have any per perfect society. Definitely there will be some of these things happening. Then I told them that they must guard the place. Now nobody's going there again. They are put up some house there and they are staying there. They have security there. So they are not going in. Right? That's it, walls and security help. Yes. Yeah, they operate in the night. Yeah. Where are they coming from? Where they know they really come from? Very, 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 where they know that you are staying there? Where they know that you human being staying there? Don't come. That's how we're going to have a sniper. But they are not macho men, no. <laughs> They are they are they are miscreants in society. They 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 they, 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 they don't work. They, they are miscreants, right? Yes. They are not they are not uh, uh, robbers. Anyway, a robber cannot be a stamp person, but they just want to create uh, you know problem just like that, right? They are seeing the foreigners around. They'll so just create a scene that you will know how to, so that you can go back. Some people, are, some people have that mind. Not happening. Yes, that's what they do. They, only do. they are not claiming ownership of the place. They are not claiming ownership of your property. They just want to scare you, so that you go away. Right. So, <laughs> if they see that people are staying there and then uh, they see danger around, don't come. Do not come. Unless somebody is saying, the land is mine, this is my document, then it becomes a litigation. That is where the chief who gave you the land has to come in and contest, not you. But if that has not happened and it's only a uh, destruction and that kind of thing, they are miscreant. So you have just to protect the place. Thank you, Nana. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, please go ahead. Oh, Your Excellency, you have... I'm not the president. I'm only... Oh, sorry. The <laughs> chief. I'm sorry. No disrespect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, do you have a program or some type of system set up to educate diasporans on different things um, that happen in the community, like conflict resolution, stuff like that, where we can learn how um, the people in your village resolve issues, like family issues and stuff like that. Do you have something set up, or is that something we can do? Yes. Uh, I'm very grateful for bringing this. I, as you have come, definitely even among yourself there may be conflict, is that not it? Yes. It's not always the best to go to court. Yes. So even in court we have ADR, which is Alternate Dispute Resolution Centers, where they refer the matter to certain people to settle among themselves. Uh, in Ghana, every chief's duty is to settle conflicts. It is our duty. So when there's a family problem, it comes to the chief, he settles it. Right. And uh, you are drawing my attention to the fact that now I've got you in my community. So, uh, I'll live with Mr. Bomani, get the Astro office, uh, look out one year. I'm sure the national has an office. Yes. Yes, but you cannot always go to the national. Mm -hmm. So we'll have our local one year. Where and when there's conflict between the diaspora and a citizen here, or the diaspora and diaspora. 
we can just sit down and settle, look at it and settle. And uh, I'm happy to inform you that uh, I'm doing my master's in that film, I live on now. Uh, uh, how to go about settle matters like uh, negotiations and mediations and conciliations and those things. When I come out, I think I'll fortify so much with that area. And uh, once I'm healthy, when you have that office, I will help to settle matters among you and any other matters. I'll do that. Yes, because it's already my responsibility to do that. Good. Okay, can we have any final question? If there is any final question, because we have to go to the land and see two different lands. So if there is any final question. Yeah, I, I want to uh, have a question, say a question. Uh, uh, what, what was the uh, overall impact of uh, 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 the pandemic coronavirus on the effect of the, uh, the African diasporans coming home back to <coughs> Africa? What type of effect did that have on the, on the overall popul world population? Does anybody, could anybody answer that? Did it slow, did it slow our movement down or did it speed it up? Did it, did it give us a sense of urgency and say we, we really have to, we're up against the odds with the uh, pandemic and they're trying to keep us from coming back to our, to our rightful place on the continent. Uh, what what type of thinking is that? I mean, what yeah, of the overall yeah, Pan African movement? What kind of effect did it have? Yes, uh, you see, uh, in Ghana, as I already said, you have your freedom, your right, but your right should not infringe on the public right or interest. Right. right. We're, we're talking about the pandemic. So with this, pandemic. with this pandemic, with this pandemic, if you don't wear nose masks, right? If you don't protect yourself, you may be infected. Right? You may be infected, you yourself. If you also have been infected, you may also infect another person. Unfortunately, you have your children, husband or wife, in the house. Innocently, you go to town, you are infected, you come home and they are all infected. Now, you may be somebody who will, your, your contribution will help society or entire country. But because you are not being careful protecting yourself, we have lost you. And it is the duty of the state to protect individuals, health, and life. Because you have your right to life, which is in the Constitution. So nobody can kill you, right? Unless probably out of lawful war. If you are killed, then you are killed. But without that, the state has to ensure that your life is protected. And if you have the, the, the pandemic kills, this COVID, it kills. So if it kills, then the state must ensure that that killing factor is protected. His people are protected from that killing factor, which is the COVID. And they are asking that, fine, let's wear nose masks, let's wash our hands. Now, they are saying we should take vaccination, which will control if you are infected. It will control the effect if you are infected. We are not scientists, right? We don't know what <laughs> goes into that vaccine, right? And the states has put up an institution that also controls that factor which will be the test from the laboratory to ensure what contains in that before allowing people to vaccinate.
So if the state does its duty very well and be truthful, whatever vaccine that comes into the country, the people must ensure that it's safe for the citizens to take it. Question, why, why did Ghana true? make his own vaccine? I don't see, want to get. I don't, see, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get into a vaccine COVID nineteen. I came here to talk about real yeah, estate yes. development. So please, that, let's, that, let's, that let's vaccine, right that now. vaccine matter. You see, I'm a chief here. I cannot control the entire country. The person who controls the entire country is his duty to ensure that the people in the country are protected. That is why they, now all our borders are closed because. Some people just come in probably have been infected. They come and they spread. Right. So they might put certain measures in place. Though some of the measures may be harsh. It will be harsh because you don't know why the person is using that harsh measures. Because uh, myself, I have not been to the hospital where those people are being kept. I have been seeing them. But people who are closer to the place, may know how people are being infected and the rate at which the people are being infected. And they look at why are people being infected so rapidly? Is it because of the influence of our diaspora? The diaspora to our human people, they also protect themselves. Nobody wants to die, right? So when they look at all this and they come with a policy, yes, Ghana brought in policy this year, which is a bit, has because probably they have encountered uh, regular infections and the, the manner at which people are dying, they fear something must be done. We have been informed that from January going, there are certain places when you are not having that protection of vaccine, you may not be able to go there. Some of us who are students, for instance, uh, I know they can put that measure there. You can't go to classes. So what will you do? Though you are right, your right can be can be can be you know controlled at a point when the authorities see that uh, if you allow all the rights for you, uh, it will create problems. Even your children, sometimes they want to go and uh, watch cinema or something. You can ask them sleep. Don't go out. You are also curtailing his right. But you are curtailing his right because you you need him. You are curtailing your child right because you need him alive. So don't go. And you have to keep quiet and sleep. Right? This Christmas, my children never go to church. They didn't go out. They were inside. And I've placed everything that they want, drinks, everything is there. So enjoy yourself, don't go out. Because the way they are talking about this disease, if you go and bring it in, an old man, I will die early. <laughs> Nobody can care for you. <laughs> and you can also die. So they are inside. The war of Christmas, my children never went out. It's not, their, it's not, that, that, uh, it's not their right to go out. It's their right, but I've taken it. Right, so uh, uh, let's accommodate whatever policy that <coughs> we are putting in place. It, it's, it's just passing by, it will be over. Right, uh -huh. we are in emergency. So let's look at it in the way that, yes, we have our right, but let's see that, oh, our right is being curtailed for a short time, it will be over, and then we'll be free. Only that what I'm hearing the 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 the, 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 the complaint that I would expect the Aspera to make is probably the amount they take for the vaccine. If it is huge, then it's more or less uh, uh, you are trying to be cheating them. So you talk about that one so that it can be reduced. But after the policy of getting people to be tested, to be doing certain things, that one must be put aside. And look at how much it costs to do that.
Yes. R2, Johnson, Johnson, Lee. So, R2, Yes. Get it. All right. R2, Johnson, Johnson. All right. Uh, and the man I was not taking, my brother in US was insulting me. He's a doctor. I said, I wouldn't take My wife took it. And he said, if, my, if I don't take it, my wife should not allow me to, to go near her. Then one day I went out to, with my wife. So we went to some place, they are doing it. Then I asked them, so what is this medicine? They, they, they mentioned another medicine. I said, no, I mean, I, I want uh, Johnson Johnson. Then I won't take this one. Then I said, ah, these people, they wanted to have a card. Can you do one for me? <laughs> The, the, the lady was ready to move for me. My wife didn't allow. Ah. And so you, you are with the judicial service and you are doing this thing. You are taking the car with that, the vessel. If you do it, I will report both of you. <laughs> My wife didn't allow me to, to, to go by that. So I just kept quiet and left. <laughs> then I had to call a, a nephew who is a nurse to come and do it for me. Johnson Johnson. My wife said, if I don't take it and I take the card, you will report me. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I, I have to come and take it. Right? Yes. So uh, I think uh, this vaccine matter, uh, don't be afraid. I'm sure your place, you might be taking them. This Johnson Johnson, I learned is, that is the best vaccine, uh, uh, Johnson Johnson. So you take it and then. Uh, yeah, people have to. So people have to make, you know, these are decisions people have to really think about. And that's why we always tell anybody you want to travel with us, you have to think about all those things. And whatever decision you make, I respect your decision, yeah. uh, but that's all up to you. Yeah. Uh, so this, these are the requirements. If you meet them, you can travel. If you don't meet them, we'll see you back in America when we get there. But um, I don't think anything is going to get easier because since I've been coming to Ghana for the last 15 years, I remember the first time it was just simply just came into the country, quick visa. Yes. And nothing. So, and nothing else to show your so passport it, it, and your yes. visa. It will be over. It will be over. Yes. People who wouldn't like to take, from and they the can hide. States, from the United States perspective, they have the continent, Africa. You know, like it's like it's so bad here, mm -hmm. and not to come here. Oh no. Yes. Well, we are not safe. That's it, how they propagandize. No, no, no. It's a, you know, you know why it's escalating at that place. Those places, uh, the cold, cold lands. You see, this disease. Uh, spread quickly in cold weather. Ah. Exactly. Yes, it's in cold weather. Yes. No, Ga yeah, Ghana is experiencing, but because the place is not cold. Yes. It, 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 so it's that's not, why it has yes. Africans yes. as much as the rest okay. of the world. Okay. Oh. Let me ask you a question real quick. Yeah, please, let's, 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 let's break the second. ice on that. Uh, I want to really uh, have, a, I think we all want to have an understanding of how our sisters and brothers here in Jahasi in the town uh, have a feeling about our community that we're building with Black Star and African repatriation community. Like, what are their thoughts and feelings? He hasn't got to your question. Yeah, he wants to know how do the people feel about us building the community yeah. that we're building, oh, the 15 acre oh, yes. Pan African community. Oh, yes. Uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are welcoming. You see, uh, what I want to, because you have not come to say fully, I have in mind to organize a program uh, where we'll be having our festival, you'll all be invited, and then you'll join the community and pronounce your presence officially, the whole community. Great idea. But already they know, and they are, they are, they are happy with it. Uh, okay. the, the, they, they have seen your coming, the benefit of your coming to see around to help get projects and other things to get work to do here and there. So people are happy. But I have not officially made you face a whole entire community so that you can have that interaction. So I think uh, that is in mind. But because it's like you are, you, you, somebody has just dropped from a car passenger. He's going home. You have to allow the person to settle before you can do all those things. So now that you are coming, well, when you are completely settled, the entire community will have a good debate where I will invite all the community, the community around me, and then we meet and then we will have interactions with them. 
and then I think that would be fine. But also, Nana, you have done basic. You have done that a few times also. Um, here we had. Um, yeah, members of your community, also when we commissioned the bathroom. Yes. So I do appreciate you a little by little yeah, connecting yeah. us yes. more and more. Yes. But, it's, but that's a great idea. Yes. Okay. Also, oh, that. Invite us to the festival. So we'll have a good Deba where the entire community will meet a very good Deba ground and then we'll interact and then we'll try we'll with them. Yes. Oh, well, perfect. Let's all wrap this up. Uh, I think our sister Kim uh, uh, have something to say. Sister Kim. Welcome. May I approach you? Hey. Yeah. Bless you, man. <laughs> <laughs>